Hi, this is Terry Grover from Terry Grover Computer Consulting. Have you ever wanted to put a picture or a piece of clip art into a document that you've created? You've seen them. You've seen recipes and newsletters and cool things that other people have done, but whenever you've tried to do it, it never came out quite right. Well, you just need a tour guide. Here I am in Word 2010. Now, if you have Word 2007, or 2010, or if you're using a Mac and you have 2008 or 2011, it will work about the same way. What I'm going to do, I've just pulled up Word and it automatically gives me a blank document. Well, to keep this a little bit short, I'm going to open a document I've already written. So I'm going to go up here to the File menu. If you have an earlier version, it might be a little Office symbol. Look in my Recent Documents and choose one that I've already done. Here we go. How I started my business. That's a fun one for me. Now what if I wanted to illustrate this by putting maybe a photo here. I always use my little grandson as my little mascot. So I'm going to insert his picture right here on the top. First I click in the place I think I might want it. I'm going to move it later if I need to. Up here on the tabs Let's choose Insert, because we are inserting something. Look at all the things I can insert. Well, what I want is a picture. Now, no matter what system I'm using, a Mac, Windows, any version, when I click Picture, it's going to bring me to my pictures up here. Do you see? In Windows 7, it's the Pictures Library. Now, I happen to have a picture of my little guy right here. I can click insert or double click. Oh dear, he's way too big. Of course he is. This is what happens and this might be what's frustrating you. No problem. Do you see all of these little nubs on all of the sides of the picture? To keep it in the same proportion, make sure you choose a diagonal one, not one of these or this one. Diagonal will keep him from getting distorted. Click and drag him smaller. A little better. But look what's happening. I have all this white space. Not what I wanted. Do you notice when I clicked on the picture, this new Format tab appeared at the top of my screen. This is where I can format my picture in all kinds of ways. But let's start simple. Over here in the Arrange section, Look at Wrap Text. I'm going to click on Wrap Text and let's go down and see... Oh, that one looks good. Square. So that the text is squared up with the picture. That's what I'm going to choose. Click there. Look how great that looks. Now, if I want to get just a teeny bit fancy, I can go over here, run my mouse without clicking on all of these different neat effects and this one is in 2010 version of Word, or the 2011 in the Mac version. I'm not sure if you'll find it in the earlier versions, but for fun, let's go ahead and click. Looks great, except look how I started my business. Well, I wanted that to be over here. So all I have to do is click on my picture, pull it down a little bit. Oop, a little too far. There we go. Now it looks great. Now, did you know that Word also has bunches of clip art for you? What if at the end I wanted to put in some clip art? Back to my Insert tab. Picture? Nope. Clip art. Somebody else who's a better artist than me may have drawn some things. What if I want to put in computers? I can type anything I want. Click Go. And look at all of these neat choices I have. Hmm. Oh, this one's kind of neat looking, isn't it? Looks like one of those new all-in ones. Okay, I'm going to click that. And there it comes. Again, a little bit too big. So I'm going to go to the diagonal, click, make it just a bit smaller. Then go up to Format, Wrap Text, make it square. And look, look at that. Do you see how it can even go in the middle of the text? I might like it on the side. Let me look at my whole picture. 
maybe like that. If I click outside the picture, do you see how it goes right in and looks like a really neat professional made this picture? Looks great. All I have to do now is file and save and I'm all set and that's all there is to it.